Hello guys, today I want to show you a quick tip about validation of route parameters. So imagine the scenario, you have some kind of URL and part of that URL is a parameter. And you need to validate that that parameter can contain only some set of values. So only some certain set. Pretty typical example is reports, for example, a list of something of users of just general transactions or whatever with some kind of period from to or something or period maybe year month week or whatever so certain set of possible parameters and how do people validate that pretty typical scenario is in the controller so in the very beginning of your method you have if period is not in the set of array then you abort 404 or you throw some kind of other error but did you know that you can validate that specifically directly in the routes? So in the routes web, we can add a where condition just here. Before that, let me show you how it works. So visually I have set of users and if I enter week, the list is according to the week. If I enter month, then the list is longer. And if I enter a year, which doesn't exist, then it's 404 not found. So now how to reproduce that in the routes? So let's comment out the validation here. And in here we can add where, where, then name of the parameter, which is period, this one, and then value. But that value doesn't necessarily have to be one value, like year or something. It could be separated with a separator, month, week, like this. So now it will have the same scenario, year not found, month will show a correct data. And week, just to make sure, let's try it out week yep it also shows the data so i reproduce the same kind of behavior just within the routes and of course it's convenient when you just need to throw 404 page if that is not found if you need more sophisticated logic of actions what happens if it's not in the validated values then probably this way of routing is not for you and you should probably get back to this method and i remembered about this trick while researching one of the open source repositories called firefly 3 and I will link that in the description below the GitHub so you can check out all the repository. It's pretty old and popular. So this is their example. Route get object type and object type may be revenue, asset, expense and liabilities. And this is a general index controller. It's not just revenue controller or asset controller or whatever. It's one controller for a few separate lists. And then in the controller itself, that object type passed as a string is then passed to all the other variables like object type here with title with types and then actually gets the types which is depending on the object type gets the data so the validation here happens in two places actually so this one has the default value of asset but actually if it's not present probably the routes would be throwing 404 anyway because there's no question mark here if that parameter were optional we would see the question mark object type question mark so yeah, that's it. A quick tip. If you want more quick tips, I have a separate repository called Laravel Tips, free on GitHub. And some related to routing are 21 tips. So how to do something like wildcard subdomains and, for example, defining the key for route model binding and stuff like that. So I will link that as well in the description below. And see you guys in other videos.